I wish that uh, you would have given me like a tissue alert on this. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Did I'm a guy, know? and you're not, you know how you're sitting in a movie, on, especially a film like this, and you're doing this, and you're like, <laughs> and then you just let it go. Excellent. Was it you that let it go? Apparently there was one person who really let it go. There was a lady in the theater, and she just went, Aah! the note, see, yeah. you have to see the movie. Okay. And there's a note scene, and yes, she just let it go. So did I. Oh, so good job! Yay, you got the cellist too. Thank you very job. much. We I'll, love a crying jo man. Yeah, Jojo gets really I proud do. when she like, gets a man. A crying man is worth like three women for me. Really? Wow. <laughs> okay. Who knew? Well, you got a few of us, so you got a good deck of cards Excellent. there. Excellent. Thank you. What inspired this story? Uh, it was a real life story I heard on the news. Um, I was driving back with my kids one day, and I heard a story on the news. This is back in two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, about a young athlete, a young man who had been left quadriplegic after a, an accident and several years later had persuaded his parents to take him to a center to end his life. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It just kind of lodged in my head. And the more I read about it, the more I realized it was not the black and white issue that I kind of wanted it to be. And as a writer, I guess the things that interest me are the things that you can't find an easy answer to. So I just started thinking, what would it be like to be him? What would it be like to be his mother? And what would it be like to be the girl who decided to try and change his mind? And that was where the story started. Is it rare for somebody that actually wrote the story also to be involved in the screenplay? Yeah, usually they <laughs> keep you miles away. You have a good agent. Um, no, <laughs> do you know, it was nothing to do with my agent. I think what it was, they uh, uh, the studio felt that the book had such a particular tone and to voice. it and such a, a balance between the humor and the tragedy and the love story at the heart of it, they just wanted to maintain that. And I, f I think they felt that having me on board was the best chance of, of translating that. And the voice of both characters. Yeah. They're very unique characters, and it was really important, I think, for the studio that, that Jojo was there to maintain those. It is such an emotional story, and it draws on so many, I mean, different emotions. How, what were the challenges in you know, getting the cast to, to... That, well, that was the biggest. The biggest challenge by far was making sure we cast it right. Mm -hmm. Because if you get the right people, you get the chemistry, you've, got, you've gone a long way down the journey. Well, that worked. Beautiful film. But I do want to ask this. There's a little bit of a controversy mm -hmm. when you bring up this subject. And I just, I'm curious about how you, will addre you would address that to people that would say, you know, controversial. Oh, uh, well, The right know, to life is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think... Do you uh, mean what we personally believe? No, no, no not that it's... You know, what people would take away from this, I think. The discussion that would, that would that I think the most important thing is that the discussion is being had. Okay. And that's what yeah. we wanted. We wanted to put it on the table. We didn't need to pass judgment. And I think the film very carefully doesn't pass judgment, which is really important to us. But the idea that people are beginning to talk about it. And for me, I think it feels very firmly that this is a growing topic. Yeah. And more uh, and more of us are facing it because medical science is proceeding at such a pace that we are seeing people kept alive when they might not normally have stayed alive and we need to work out how to give them a quality of life. I like that. Okay, where was this film? Because there's a castle and I was telling my friends, I'm from Texas, I'm all going, hey, that's Windsor Castle. <laughs> that's how we talk. Okay. But I don't think it was, was it? It wasn't no. Windsor, it's actually Pembroke Castle. In Tell them how many castles you saw. 92. <laughs> she had to cast the castle. Casting the castle was the third most important person on the call sheet. I'm not kidding. But we got the right one, right? Yeah. You totally got the right one. Castle chemistry. Castle chemistry. There you go.